That breaking news, Governor Haslam officially puts the execution of Edmund Zagorski on hold. Just within this last hour, Haslam granted the convicted double murderer a 10-day reprieve. Minutes ago, we received this statement from the widow of one of Zagorski's murder victims, John Dale Dotson. This is what Marsha Dotson told us in part, quote, the devil inside Zagorski is fighting God hard over this. I'm praying it will be over soon for all involved. If the governor had given Edmund life without parole, I wouldn't have been through this. I've waited 35 years for this. Shame, Zagorski always seems to get his way and the victim's family has to suffer heartaches all over again for new now reasons except for Zagorski to get his way. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb is at the prison where he was going to be serving as one of the state's witnesses to the execution. Jason, what does the governor's reprieve really mean? Well, let's start uh, by talking about what the reprieve does not mean. It does not mean that his execution date will officially be uh, October 21st on a Sunday after that 10 day reprieve is over. We'll get to that. But first, I want to get to what the governor said in his reprieve message just moments ago. He said that given the federal court's decision to honor Edmund Zagorski's last minute decision to choose electrocution as the method of execution, this brief reprieve will give all involved the time necessary to carry out the sentence in an orderly and careful manner. Now, October 21st is when this reprieve ends, but we spoke with Zagorski's attorney who said the stay of execution is still in effect from that federal appeals court. Now, that court has said that there are some legal issues that they want to deal with regarding potentially ineffective counsel suing his uh, during his trial in the 1980s. Now, given this, this relieved pressure from the execution date, the court might now say, we want to hear more arguments before we make a decision. We may want to schedule oral arguments now uh, before we make a decision on that case. Not to mention all the other legal avenues uh, that are uh, currently happening right now with the U.S. Supreme Court as well. So what this means is this is more likely appearing to be or going to be an electrocution execution, but we do not know exactly when that may be. It may be scheduled for 10 days out from today, October 21st. It may be scheduled out further from that, perhaps far further from that, weeks, maybe months down the road, given what the courts want to hear first before they decide to lift the stay of execution. We'll keep you guys updated, of course. Live at the Riverbend Na Maximum Security Institution, Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. All right, Jay